Planning effectively is the key to achieving a successful implementation. In this series of design and implementation tutorials, you'll learn design best practices and how to troubleshoot, analyze, and use the provided system monitoring tools to improve performance and customer experience. In this tutorial, you'll explore how to monitor system activities. Planning generates a daily activity report that you can use to understand your application usage. As an administrator, you can view activity reports to monitor user activities and usage over a period of 5, 10, 30, or 60 days. Activity reports help streamline application design by identifying calculation scripts and user requests that impact application performance. Let's take a look at an activity report. From the home page, select Application, then Overview. Select the Activity Reports tab. I'll view the report. Number of users shows the number of users who accessed the service each day over the last seven days and over the last 30 days. You can also see the average login duration. You can also see performance characteristics like the percentage of user interface requests over 10 seconds, the top seven user interface requests by duration, the top 15 user interface requests by execution, the top 30 worst performing user interface actions over 10 seconds, your user's average response time by hour, the number of users by usage duration, the 10 most and least active users by usage duration, the top 5 worst performing calculation script commands over 1 minute, the top 10 calculation scripts by duration, the top 10 worst performing SBase queries over 15 seconds, the top 10 SBase queries by duration and by execution, and browser usage. I'll go back to the list of reports. You can also download the report and open it in Excel to perform your diagnostics there. Let's take a look at how to use activity reports to troubleshoot and diagnose system issues. In this first example, system performance is too slow. The activity report shows long calculation times for certain calc scripts. It also shows some SBase queries are taking a long time. The information in the activity report lets you identify problem scripts and queries so you can optimize them. In this example, as an immediate short-term solution for getting the system operational, you can also perform a hard reset using the EPM Automate utility. In the next example, the system failed to complete a smart push operation to push data from one plan type to another. The message in the job console says that the system was not able to allocate enough resources for the operation. It also advises you to try reducing the number of simultaneous operations on the cube. To diagnose the issue, review the activity report for all resource-intensive and slow-performing SBase operations. Check long-running SBase queries. In this example, the longest-running query contains a SELECT statement with nested cross-join statements, which is resource-intensive. Review changes made to the application, looking especially for data maps definitions, which could affect smart push operations. Also, look for long-running business rules. All these diagnostics let you know what to optimize to cut down on resource use. In the next example, users are experiencing login issues and reporting browser errors. In the activity report, check the network latency statistics. Slow user interaction in the browser can be related to latency issues. Next, check the 30 worst performing user interface actions and see if you can determine a possible overall reason for the slowness. Finally, check the browser version usage in the user community. Internet Explorer can result in suboptimal performance compared to Firefox or Chrome. In this last example, general system performance is too slow. In this case, check network latency and the number of users who accessed the application. Look at the top 30 worst performing user interface actions with a specific focus on network response time. And look at any long-running business rules attached to a form, as these can impact overall system performance. If this is the source of the performance issues, 
you can look into optimizing the script or the related form. In this tutorial, you explored how to monitor system activities. To learn more, visit cloud.oracle.com.